What is up, champs and champ pets? We are back. We are working on principle number four. We're going to be talking about our grip while putting and how you can get a little bit better just sitting at your kitchen table. Let's get into it. So in the few putting videos I have watched, uh, of course, grip does come up, but it's brushed over very quickly. And I think it's much more important than it's given credit for. In these putting videos, the only thing that's really mentioned about grip is just to sort of have a neutral type grip, not too tight, not too loose. And it, honestly, I think the grip is much more dynamic than that. And we're gonna talk about that right now. So when I say that our grip is gonna be dynamic, what I mean is that when we are working on our weight shift, moving backwards, starting to load up a little bit for our putt, we're gonna bring the disc back and the grip's gonna be pretty loose. Now, when we start our weight shift forward and get ready to hit our brace, we're gonna tighten our grip and get ready to pop, which we're gonna pop right at the exact same moment we hit our brace. If you haven't seen the finding the brace in your putt video, uh, it's just, a couple videos back i don't know how to link stuff right now and have it pop up in the corner but i'm sure you can find it if our grip is not dynamic if it's just this one steady pressure the entire time essentially we're going to come out with basically a knuckle ball type look there's going to be very little spin on this thing very little control and it's going to be very frustrating now we've got a great little drill that we're going to go over right now do it right at your kitchen table. It's gonna help with your timing. It's gonna help with your pop. So let's get into it. So here's the drill right here. Now, what are we gonna learn from this drill? We talked about it. You're coming down, you're coming down loose. So when we're doing this drill, think of that. Notice how your hand comes down loose with our weight shift, we're loose at the bottom. Now, in order to propel, propel forward, we're gonna tighten up the grip, and we're gonna pop. Now, what you're gonna notice when you do wrong, it's gonna to fly too far left, you released it too early. If it flies too far right, popped it too late. What we really want is straight up and down, nice spin, wobble's fine, preferably no wobble, lots of spin. The other thing that's great about this drill, it's tough to show from that angle, but from here, is it keeps everything right in line with your wrist. And people have a lot of trouble with that, especially if you're putting nose up too much. You know, you, you can't do that with this drill. It's gonna go flying basically over your head. If you're putting two nose down and missing low, you're gonna, it's gonna fly out in front of you. So this drill, I didn't come up with this drill. It's been thrown around since I started playing. I don't know who came up with it, but it's not talked about a lot. I find it to be extremely useful, especially for beginners that don't have the automatic automaticity in their, in their muscle, in their putt. This is a great tip to help you get going to cover your spin, your grip, the variability of your grip and your timing. So again, seems simple, but there's a, there's a bit more going on than meets the eye. So hopefully that drill helps you out. You know, hopefully it's okay with your family that you're going to start leaving a disc on the table and messing around while you're eating your dinner. Um, but I found it to really help me and I think it can, I think it can help you at least a little bit. The only other thing I have to say about grip is that I am not convinced that having your index finger on the edge of the rim is the best way to do it. I think that getting that last finger, last joint in your index finger tucked under the rim, held on tight is going to create the most amount of friction, which is going to give you the most dependable, reliable, confident putt that you can that you can have. I know a lot of people have a lot of success with this, um, but I also see a lot of people, it, again, it, it doesn't help with your angle control. It, um, I think it can lead, having a tough time spitting this out. I, I see a lot of people on course that putt like this, usually they're beginners, and they oftentimes have a really tough time controlling the angle of their putt. They're often on way too much hyzer more hyzer than they would prefer. Um, and I think that getting this last joint of the index finger under the disc, you know, pressed in nice with the thumb, really helps you control your angle, keep the putt flat, get some ante on it if you need to. So that is something that I, I believe in. Thank you guys again for watching. We keep getting great comments and messages from you guys. We're so happy to help you out with this. Stay tuned. We got principle number five coming up. We're finally getting some arm action going. 
That's going to be out in about a week, and we will catch you later.